Hallelujah, God. We thank you, God. Hallelujah, that all is well and the devil is still defeated, God. We thank you for moving in our lives, God, as we surrender our will in exchange for yours, oh God. We know that you will get the glory out of this, oh God. Be exalted, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, God, for saving loved ones right now, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for turning lives around, God. We thank you for this is an opportunity, oh God, that you will get the glory out of this, oh God, and show yourself strong, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, we pour our souls on you today, God. Touch every pastor, every leader, God, that's going to stand and declare your word, God. Give us an ear to hear, Lord God, what the Spirit is saying unto the church, God. We need a word from heaven, oh God. We need a word from oh high, God. One word will change our lives. One word will heal this land, God. One word will turn the things around, God, that we're facing right now. Father, we trust you right now for you are faithful, God. You are better than good, oh God, and we just praise you right now. You said if you be lifted up from the earth, oh God, you will draw men unto you, God. We thank you for drawing men to you, God. Help us to come close into your loving arms, God, and embrace you like never before. Father God, we come against fear. We come against doubt, God. We come against rebellion and stubbornness, oh God. We come against sin today in the mighty name of Jesus. For holiness without shall no man see you, oh God. Touch us, oh God, from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet, oh God. Pour out your spirit and power in our lives like never before, God. As we find refuge in you, Lord God, we present our bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto you, oh God, which is our reasonable service. Lord, I thank you right now that what you're doing, oh God, is good, and we just praise you right now. Lord God, touch every man, every woman, every boy and girl. We come against this coronavirus in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, touch us right now, God. Keep our loved ones safe right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Help every man, every woman, every boy, every girl to examine their own lives, God. To live a life pleasing unto thee, Lord God. We lay aside every sin and every weight that does so easy but set us, oh God. We come after you today, God. For only you can cure us. Only you can heal us, oh God. Only you can deliver us. Only you can save us, oh God, from this way of this world, oh God. Lord, we need you right now. We thank you for breathing upon us, oh God. Spirit of the living God, touch us. Move in this place, oh God. Let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts, oh God, be acceptable in thy sight. Oh Lord, our God, our Redeemer, our strength. Lord, I thank you right now. We won't panic, oh God, but we pray, God. We press into your presence, oh God, for there's joy in your presence, there's peace in your presence, there's comfort in your presence. We give you glory right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We give you all the praise. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. We bring you greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Glory to God. For this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. This is Global Life Changing Ministries International. Amen. Facebook Live. Glory to God. We know that everyone today, amen, we're living in a trying time. But glory to God. God is still God and he's still worthy to be praised. Glory to God. Don't worry about what it looks like. Glory to God. Amen. We must stand and declare the word of God. And I believe, glory to God, if the body of Christ will rise up, glory to God, we will see the glory of God. Amen. Glory to God. If we do our part as believers, glory to God, we will see the world shift. We will see a change take place. Glory to God. I don't know about you, but I'm fully persuaded that nothing shall be able to separate me from the love of my God. Hallelujah. Which is in Christ Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. Saints of God, now is the time that we draw closer to him than ever before. Praise God. Amen. Glory to God. There is a word from on high. Glory to God. God wants us to be encouraged. Amen. Don't worry about the naysayers. Amen. Don't worry about the news. Glory to God. This breathing out panic and all these different types of uh, 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 calamities. Amen. We must put our trust in God. Amen. God is the answer. Glory to God. And we must put our continual trust in him. Amen. Let us go to the word of God. Amen. Looking at the book, amen, of Psalms. Amen. The number 27. Amen. Verses 13 and 14. And the word of the Lord reads, I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Glory to God. David, amen, was a man, glory to God, that God had anointed to be king over Israel. Amen. After Saul had, glory to God, had fallen from grace. Glory to God. In this day and time, saints of God, if we go by what we see, what we hear, what we feel, we'll faint. Fainting comes when your
your heart become overwhelmed by what you see and what you hear. Glory to God. And it's so important, amen, that we put our trust in the Lord. Glory to God. Uh, uh, Proverbs 3, amen, 5 and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. But in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. I believe that God is trying to order our steps, saints of God. Isn't it funny how, glory to God, we was too busy to take our time for God. We wouldn't pray like we used to pray. We would come on, we would fast like we used to fast. And so God had allowed us to go into quarantine, to be stuck in our homes, amen, to give him our undivided attention. But yet and still there are people, glory to God, they're still trying to find the latest show on Netflix or find the latest show on Hulu when we should be getting in the word and getting in the face of God, glory to God, because we're in a place where men can't help us, glory to God. Even medication can't help you. If the Lord don't help us, we're in trouble, glory to God. But I want the devil to know that he's still defeated, amen, because there's a people that's amen that's raising up the true church of God. I'm not talking about church folk that come in and out Sunday after Sunday, but I'm talking about somebody, amen, that may have been reminded for God I live and for God I die. Glory to God. If I have to go all by myself, can I get a witness out there today? God wants you to lift your hands and surrender your all to Him. Glory to God. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, this is not the time to faint. This is the time to trust God. Tell your neighbor to hold on a little while longer. Glory to God. This is the time to be run into the arms of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ because there is no other way. Amen. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Praise God. David said, I had fainted if I had a look and come on and believe, glory to God, to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. You must understand, glory to God, come on here, that there's alternatives, amen. The enemy will always try to get us to go out what we see and what we feel by our natural senses. But tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, I thank God for the Holy Ghost, the paracletus, the one, amen, to come alongside to strengthen us. If we didn't need the Holy Ghost, Jesus wouldn't send him. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, everybody needs the Holy Ghost. I thank God. Do you have him? But I thank God that I got on the, on the inside. And this show that I have the world and give it. The world can't take it away. God allowed trouble to come in the land. Amen. So the church of the living God to rise up. So people would know that we are God's people. And that he is our God. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, I know him for myself. Because he done so much for me that I just can't tell it all. Hallelujah. Goes on and says this. To see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, something better is on the way. If we can press and pass past what we see, amen, and continue to walk by faith and not by sight, tell your neighbor, something better is on the way. God has to allow trouble to come because many times, get this, we get complacent, but God allows trouble to stir us up and cause us to get about his Amen. Because come on here. We're praying like we never prayed before. Because there's some things happening in this earth realm that never happened before. I don't know about you, but I made up in my mind that for God I live and for God I die. Can I get a witness in here? Hallelujah. Somebody need what you got. And God has called us. Amen. All of us in a us with gifts. Understand that gifts and calling them without repentance. Go over to God. And God wants to use you like never before. Come on here to pray for the blind, to pray for the lame, to pray for those that are bound by sickness and disease, pray for those that are bound by the enemy. Can I help somebody that's power in the name of Jesus? And God is waiting on us to call on that name. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, I thank God that I'm on the Lord's side. Hallelujah. Give God glory in the house. Goes on second verse, the third verse, the, the 14th verse says, wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. Our problem, hear me, is that we like things quick, fast, in a hurry. We don't like to wait because waiting takes patience. Amen. Sometimes God will tell you no. But even when God tells you no, rest assured that he got something better than what you're asking for. Amen. And then sometimes God will tell you to wait. And then sometimes God will tell you to, yes. Amen. Even when God tells you, don't act like God done told you yes. And still be grateful, amen, that he knows what's best for you. Amen. Because a lot of us act for stuff. Glory to God. And then we got it. We realized we didn't need it. And we sure didn't want it. Glory to God. And so we need the trust 
to God. From these two verses, I want to take the text. Glory to God. Fainting is not an option. Say, neighbor, fainting is not an option. Glory to God, because I'm a believer in God. Hallelujah, glory to God. Fainting is not an option. I'm not even looking at what I'm going through. My eyes are fixed on Jesus. Anybody know that for God I live and for God I die? Come on here, glory to God. That God has done so much for you that you just can't tell it all. And if God brought you through all that, God going to bring you through this right now. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, this is just another opportunity for God to work a miracle in your behalf. Oh, glory to God. He says in 2 Chronicles that if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves, pray, turn from the wicked way, see my face, then will I hear from heaven and forgive their sins and heal the land. Understand that if we turn, he'll turn. If we'll turn around, has taken place and God is trying to have our undivided attention. Glory to God. But yet there's still many people still doing the things they were doing before all this. Because I mean, we face things but we never face things from this, amen, this magnitude. Glory to God. When God shut down the government and different things this, he's trying to have our attention. He's calling us into his presence but are we listening? Glory to God. What has happened we have forsaken our first love. Amen. When we look back in the Genesis when God created Adam, glory to God. Adam was in a place and he had such a privilege to fellowship with God, his creator. Amen. God would come and walk in the garden in the cool of the day and fellowship with Adam. And there was no fear of being separated from his creator. Amen. But God gave a command to Adam and told him, don't you eat of the tree of knowledge of good and evil for the day you look upon it. Amen. Then you're going to eat it. You know, desire it. Then you eat it and you're going to surely die. But the servant, glory to God, the Bible said, was more subtle than any beast of the field came and began to speak to Eve, glory to God. And Eve did eat, glory to God, and gave to her husband and husband with her. And then the Bible said, their eyes came open. He be saints of God, the devil is still playing the same games that he played with Adam and Eve. And our glory got priority that we get ourselves in line with God. Amen. To go back to him, to, to focus our hearts and minds back on him. And that's why glory to God, Jesus came. Hallelujah. In the likeness of flesh, but he condemned sin in the flesh. That whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. He was the, he's the firstborn among many brethren. Amen. Glory to God. Apostle Paul said it like this to live is Christ. And to God dies again. To be absent from this body is to be present with the Lord. We must understand that God has a call on our lives. God has a purpose. Amen. We weren't here to take up space. We were here to do a work. Amen. We're not saved by work, but we're saved for works. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Goes on and says this here. Oh heaven. Give ear, O earth. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass its master's crib. But Israel do not know. My people do not consider. Everything that is happening right now is allowed by God to get us to consider our ways. Glory to God. No more going to church. Hallelujah is normal. Because so many people have made a religious ceremony out of going to church but never will come into church. We must allow the power of God, the spirit of God to flood and invade our lives. To bring about change in our lives because none of us can live right apart from the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to God. We need God in our lives. If we listen to the news and everything that's going on around, we will panic. We will be in fear. And the Bible said fear has torment, but perfect love cast out fear. And God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and that of a sound mind. 
Glory to God. I tell you that you got power. You got Dunamis. You got Escrios. Glory to God. Power to change. Power to lay hands on the sick. No, it's not us, but it's Christ that lives in us. And the latter part of Daniel 11 and 32 says, To the people that do know their God, they shall be strong and do exploits. And the word exploits means supernatural feats, heroic acts. God is calling the church to rise up, saints of God. Hallelujah. There's more to you than what you see. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God has called all of us for work for such a time as this. Glory to God because people need you. People ask me, are you afraid to lay hands on someone? Listen here. I'm not going to stop doing what God has called me to do. If I die, let me die in the army of the Lord. Help me, Holy Ghost. Listen here. And better, better yet, let me say this. If God allows something to happen, he allowed it. It first got to get permission for him to attack me. Glory to God. But I want the devil to know this, that God is on my side and I fear no evil. Glory to God. Understand this. People are wondering why you're still holding on. People are wondering why you're still standing strong. Tell you neighbor, it's because of my God. I'm trusting in my Lord. I know him for myself. When I didn't have no one else that was there, he was always there. Can I get a witness? Anybody ever needed a way made and God made a way? Anybody ever prayed a prayer and you just knew that if God didn't do it, nobody else could? And God stepped in some kind of way and showed up and showed out and made a way out of no way. You ought to give God praise right there. And the best part about all of this, glory to God, he's still the same. Amen. God was here before coronavirus. He's here even during coronavirus. And he's going to be here after coronavirus is gone. But I want you to know, saints of God, he wants to do something in our lives. He wants us to change, glory to God, our ways, glory to God. He wants to do inventory, glory to God, because many of us, we look at ourselves as this, glory to God. But none of us have arrived, glory to God. All of us have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And it's time for us to rent our hearts and not our garments. It's time for us to get before the face of God and cry out in desperation how much we need Him. And we can't live without Him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Even when time stands still, God still is God. He's still moving. He's still good. Amen. And we can bless His holy name today. Amen. This is the time for the church to rise up. Amen. God is calling us in position, saints of God. Amen. Glory to God. So many of us have been sitting on the sideline. Now it's time to get on the battlefield. Glory to God. Stop complaining and start praising God. Stop complaining about what you can't do when there's so much else you can do. Amen. God wants us to be in this place, amen, where he can nourish us and train us and equip us to be the church of the living God. Amen. As a true child of the living God. This time of being quarantined, amen, is divinely orchestrated by God. It's a divine act of mercy, amen, because all of us were headed down a path, amen, of destruction when God had to arrest us, amen, to do about face, to get us in position, amen, where we can't, amen, go to work because some of us made our jobs, God. Some of us have made our monies, God, amen. Some of us have made our spouses and our children, God, but God said, I will not have no other God before me. Glory to God. And God is calling us to remind us of our vows that we made before him. Because all of us have been in a place, amen, where the devil should have taken us out. But if it had not been for the Lord who was on our side, amen, that stepped in and made a way out of no way. This time of quarantine, this time of being shifted in, is a prayer time, a time of fasting, a time of seeking the face of God, praying for mercy, praying for the healing of the nations, praying for breakthrough, praying for deliverance, praying against the planning the attacks of the enemy. Glory to God. Trust in God in every way. So because we trust in God, fainting is not an option. Fainting is not an option. God wants to have faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Hebrews 11 and 6 goes on and says, but without faith it's impossible to please God. How can they know that we are the church if we're acting like the world, if we're panicking like the world, if we're fearful like the world? Hallelujah. We should know our God. And see, what has happened, many people have come to church and they know about God, but they never have known him for themselves. And now God has put us in a place 
but we can't see the folk or have any distractions so he can have our undivided attention. Amen. So we can cry out to him and we can have a divine encounter, a life-changing experience where we'll never be the same. Glory to God. I want to share a story before I leave. There's a story of these four friends that went up into a mountain to climb the mountain. And, and as they began to climb, one of them fell down about 60 foot onto a ledge below. And you hear the third, poof. And his friends hollered out, Joe, are you okay? And Joe hollered back, I think I broke both of my arms. And so they said, well, we're going to send down a rope. That way we can pull you up. And Joe said, fine. And so after a few minutes, they have thrown down the rope and they begin to pull and tug and begin to run because of the weight of the rope. And after that, they get him about three quarters of the way up. They realize that Joe had told them that he had broken both of his arms. And they said, Joe, they said, I thought you told us that your arms are broken. How are you managing to hold on? He said, with my teeth. In other words, let me tell you. Whatever you got to do to hold on, hold on. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, this is not the time to faint. This is not the time to throw in the towel. This is the time to hold on. You got to do whatever you got to do. Hold on to God's unchanging hand. Come on and lift your hands right where you are. I pray that this word has encouraged you. That in spite of what you're going through, that God is with you. He's Emmanuel, God with us even now. Amen. Glory to God. Father, I thank you. For even times like this, we have you, who is our comfort, who is our strength, who is our way maker, our redeemer. And we bless your holy name today. Now, Father, we ask you to forgive us where we have sinned and fell short. Forgive us where we have allowed things to come into our lives to distract us, oh God. We come back to the heart of worship because it's all about you. Lord, I thank you for a special conviction upon every man, every woman, every boy, every girl that hear this voice on today. That they won't throw in the towel. That they won't give up. They won't panic. But they will pray. They will pray without ceasing. They will stay in your face. Oh God, we thank you that you are good. You are better than good. You are great. And we love you forevermore, oh God. Father, have your way in our lives. We thank you right now that you turned the tide of the enemy. Glory to God. You said that you call on us, oh God. Hallelujah. Your people will rise up and pray and seek your face and turn from their wicked ways. Then when you hear from heaven, we thank you that you're not a far off. That you hear us when we call on God. And we trust you, God, in this place today. We thank you. Amen. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Saints of God, we pray. Amen. Amen. That this word has touched you today. That you have been inspired to run on to see what the end is going to be. Don't faint. Have faith in God. Fainting is not an option. Don't throw in the towel. Don't quit. We don't do like the world do. We go higher. We put our trust in the living God. And I want the devil to know this. That all is still well. And the devil is still defeated. Because Jesus is still Lord. Glory to God. God bless you and keep you as our prayer. Amen.